And thanks for joining us everyone now to tonight's big story and it's one that's making national headlines. A valley couple wants justice after they say Glendale officers used excessive force during a traffic stop back in 2017. Thanks everyone for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine and I'm Mike Gonzalez. Mark Curtis is on assignment tonight. The police body camera video is shocking and we have to warn you sometimes very hard to watch. Team 12's William Pitts has the story. 11 times with a taser. While Johnny Wheatcroft's wife and kids were in the car watching, one of those times in Wheatcroft's genitals. According to Glendale police, cops stopped the car for suspicious activity. And Weecroft's attorney, Mark Victor, says nothing that happened after that was justified. At all times, Mr. Weecroft was compliant and he did not resist arrest. Victor is suing Glendale PD over the arrest and the repeated tasing. Weecroft's wife, Anya Chapman, wrote a statement for her lawyer to read. And the officer's actions have torn my family apart. My children have been extremely impacted. To this day, they still have nightmares and they are scared to even leave the house. Yeah, if you're a passenger in a vehicle, you need to have your ID. But according to the ACLU of Arizona, that's not true. You only have to show your ID if you're the one getting a ticket. That's why Victor says the entire arrest never needed to happen. You want to die? Shut your mouth! I'm done you along with you! But Victor also says he doesn't want this incident to paint all police in a bad light. We are very pro good police officer. We are also very anti bad police officer. Coming up on 12 News at 6, we're going to check in again with Team 12's William Pitts after he wraps up an inside look at Glendale PD's investigation. Small group of protesters are making their voices heard against Glendale PD following the release of that 2017 body cam video. This is happening outside of police headquarters. Protesters are now calling for the officer involved to be removed from the force. Team 12's Michael Doudna is in Glendale right now, so look for an update from him coming up on 12 News at 10.